Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. In this one, we are continuing a series of a horse that we did an evaluation on. And in the first video, I put the horse through a bunch of uh, pre-ride checks to kind of see where the horse was at, see if the horse was rideable. We learned in that first video that the when the lady went to purchase the horse, um, the previous owner wasn't willing to step on it, thought the horse needed a little more work uh, to be safe to ride. And so she never saw this horse rode before she bought it. So she asked me to come out and give the horse an evaluation, put a ride on it, and uh, check out if it was safe. So we covered that in the first video. And in this video, we're gonna jump into saddling and maybe riding. So I hope you guys enjoy this. And if you missed the first one, make sure you watch that one first. And uh, let's get into it. So when, he, when I did the flag when he was standing still, he got braced, but he didn't really react. But that was a fairly significant reaction when he was on the circle and I went to do it. And it meant he wasn't reading me. He was reading only the stick and string. So that means if you're on a trail ride, and I'm just throwing a tra trail ride out there, whatever, you're riding, and the snow slides off the roof, he's probably going to react to that because he's not paying enough attention to the human. Now, this is connection that's built over time. It doesn't, ha you know, you don't just go from none of it to all of it, but you want to start putting that in there more. I'd like him to have a, just a little bit stronger connection um, to the human's uh, energy level, the input level that they're putting in. I want to take a quick second to interrupt this video and let you guys know about my Patreon page. If you would like to have me as your personal horsemanship guide on your journey of learning how to become a better horseman, how to be a better partner for your horse, I would like to help you do that on my Patreon page. It's only $10 a month. There's a whole bunch of more videos and horse training content on there. You can ask me questions. You can, we can do video coaching on there. Um, it's a great value, so I hope you guys check it out. I'll leave a link in the description below. Let's get back to the video. And you can see again, we're on that right side, which earlier I, I mentioned that he was wanting to, he was more comfortable with me in his left eye. So you can see he changed states just a little bit. And I'm kind of skipping a step here. I should have gotten on him bareback too. But he, he feels pretty good on the ground. There's a few holes there, but he feels pretty good. So we're just gonna do this. But on a colt that, that's never been ridden, um, that's what we do. But you know, he feels like, yeah, he probably has been ridden, obviously. No, not obviously, we haven't seen him rode. But. It's not a far stretch to think, you know, think that. But he's not been rode a lot. <laughs> you know, there's not many rides in there. Yeah, he's pretty green. But see, he didn't change states as much that time when I got on him. Meaning where his head was at when I was stepping up stayed there. The time before that, when I went to step up, he, 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 his head came up quite a bit. Yeah, and then he just relaxed there. Yep. But he's also, his build, he's, pre, you know, he's pretty athletic and pretty quick. Like if he wanted to move quickly, he could, you know? So a horse like him, you'd rather just take your time and prepare and get him safe where those movements are slower and softer because it's like if he gets troubled and he moves quick and the rider loses their balance and then he moves even quicker because he feels something startle him. That's something you got to keep an eye on with him. That's why, because he is, he is going to be quick. It's not like if he, if he does something, he's going to go really slow. He's going to go quickly, whether he's a little bothered or he's a lot bothered. The more bothered he is, the quicker it'll be, but his motions on the ground are all very quick. Does that make sense? So, so you just, those are just all things to kind of keep in mind. <laughs> you know, one of the questions I ask, and this is a really good tip uh, for the, the YouTube world to, to know, and he has a little CI stuck going to the right here. He's a little more skeptical here. 
uh, one of the questions that I ask if I'm looking at a horse for a client or something is I'll say, what's the worst thing this horse has ever done? And he's, it's, hard to get, it's hard to dodge that answer. There's a lot of answers when you're looking for a horse that people can, um, people can say. But you say, what's the worst thing they've ever done? And I'll ask him, have you given this horse any drugs? Well, like, say you would have rode him and he was super calm and chill, and then you bring him back here and he's all amped up and wild. And you're like, what happened? Well, I, would, I ask everybody, have you given him any, any drugs or sedatives? You know, because if you don't ask, people can just not share. <laughs> you know? And it happens more than, you, more than you think, unfortunately. And so I, ask, I try to ask those tough questions, and I'd encourage everybody to ask those tough questions. And, or even, you know, when you go look at a horse, say, you know, I want to see that horse just out in the pen. You know, I want to see you catch it, saddle it. I want to see the whole thing, you know. Um, Well, this is feeling pretty good. See if he knows any leg cues. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> he knows legs mean go, like he has that the, the right and left, and legs mean go, but. I'm not feeling a whole lot else for steering off legs yet. He, he's mostly operating off the feel from the snaffle. I like how he settled. I like how calm he, he got with everything. Yeah. That's a nice change, right? He's in a, he's less trouble now than he was, you know, at, at first. Um, and that's, that's good to see. He has enough rides that he doesn't feel like a colt that's, when you ride a colt that has very few rides, like maybe five or so, they're like this. He, he rides out in a straight line, which tells me he's been rode somewhere, you know. He's had enough hours logged on that he, he travels straight, so that's good. He wouldn't travel, if he really only had very few rides, you know, it, it wouldn't, uh, you know, he wouldn't travel that straight. Yeah, I mean, he, yeah, like see there, he's going sideways when you ask him to trot instead of just trotting on a circle. So it's also a lot of people start a horse and they ride him outside. So with how straight he travels, he probably rode outside of an arena more than he rode inside of an arena or a round pen, which, you know, it's neither bad or good. It's just kind of what it is. I, again, that's, these are guesses. I don't know, but yeah, I'm kicking him. <laughs> So he doesn't understand legs mean go real super easy. You know what I mean? He feels like a colt that has a few rides that doesn't really know what that means yet. But because he got troubled earlier in this first ride, I wouldn't go to, you know, spanking him on the butt to get him to go or, you know, it's not about that. It's, it's we're still doing a training session in terms of he's going to be left in a better place mentally, you know, than we, than we started with, which is pretty cool considering you know, we challenged him with a lot of different things, right? But he was probably, like I said, you saw him, or possibly he was rode on the road or trails, you know, because if you just ride out in a straight line, that's easy, you know, as long as the horse doesn't get scared of something and take off, right? in here is training, right? You're teaching them to go in a circle and you know, they, they're gonna be more shut down in a small you know, arena like this, um, which is kind of a nice place to start, it's safer. Um, but you, it's typical then to have trouble getting them to, to go, right? Uh, <laughs> ish. 
No, it's not bad. I'm just, I'm just trying to point out what it is. It's not good or bad. I'm just trying to give you an example. So it's, pretty, it's a pretty green horse feeling to have him go that way when you're trying to trot in a circle. I got his nose tipped that way. You know, at, at a walk, he traveled where I wanted. But as soon as I moved him into a trot, which just to me feels like the way he feels is he probably has, you know, 20 rides or so or more, 20, 30 rides. Probably got rode outside just following another horse and straight and, and that. He's, he's accepting the human. He's not afraid of me at all up here, which is really good news. Um, he, he handles the reins right and left really well. Um, but he, he probably didn't have a lot of arena training or even probably didn't have a lot of trot work. He's not afraid of the trot, but he doesn't understand that legs mean go. And so I'm get, taking a guess. I don't know for a fact. But if you rode him in here, it wouldn't take two or three rides. He would know legs mean go because you have to. <laughs> you have to do it. Out there, you wouldn't have to. He would just go, right? If you got on your other horses and I followed you, we would just go. He would follow them and the rider just, you know. So, so they get real good at accepting the human, right? Because the rider's just sitting here going for a ride. He's following the other horses. Does that make sense? And then he gets to travel in straight lines. So to me, that puts together what I'm feeling of he doesn't feel like there's a whole lot of training here, but it feels like he accepts the human well. He's not afraid of being ridden. Um, uh, he, I, he, I, I would also walk him around outside and see how he handles it out there, you know, but he feels like he, he's probably been on trail rides more than arena riding, which might be good news as well. I don't know, depending on what you want to do with him. So that's my... <laughs> That's my two cents. <laughs> How did she back up on the saddle? We can we can give her a go. About the same as on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Although he is he is wanting to give his nose, which is good. But there's a little bit there. Somebody's done it more than once. That's not his first time being backed up, you know. It's hard to say too when a horse sits, you know, and they have much time off. But I like how he feels. I think he's a nice horse. Um, I think he did well. Again, it's hard to say because sometimes, you know, if you put a few more rides on him, you, you know, like, see if I ask him to bridle up here, like he actually acts like he kind of knows that a little bit. Like somebody might have messed with that a little bit. See him set his head there. Like that's, that's some training. Like somebody wrote him to teach him that. What I showed you, what I told you, what you knew of him and what kind of what your thoughts are on this? Um. Well, I was surprised at a few things that she did, that he got reactive like, to like the what? string and the, the, the stick. The string going over his yeah. back, yep. Yeah, because he was fine, you know, more on the ground with that. Yeah, and that is common that they're good with it at a standstill, but you put them in motion and a lot of horses get bothered by that. And that means we need to teach him to follow our feeling more, you know, mm -hmm. follow our, our intention versus the stick kind of represents other noise happening. I guess I would have thought maybe you'd be more willing to trot under saddle. Mm. But I really felt that I had a feeling he was going to be calm about you getting in the saddle. Mm -hmm. So, um, but I think he is making some progress just yeah. in today. And yeah, I've only seen yawning right now. He's getting settled. And yeah, I've only worked with him a few times. So mm -hmm. each time he seems to be learning a bit more. Yeah. Yeah, very good. Well, I, I like him. Um, I think I think he did a really good job of he has a good brain. Like he wants to be uh, cooperative and relaxed. And he, he was trying to get there for us the whole time. So he wants to work with us, which is really good to have. Some horses are more skeptical and a little more, you know, set in their ways a little bit. I think he needs just some more exposure to things. Um, he's a bit inexperienced for his age, um, but that's something that we can do with a little time. And uh, I think he got a nice horse here. I was also really happy with how smooth he was. I, I, a lot of times short horses with shorter backs are choppy to ride, and he was actually pretty dang smooth um, at his trot. Uh, he's a beautiful horse, so um, so we'll, we'll keep up with, uh, with the story um, with you and Zane, and uh, we look forward to following up with this. But thanks for letting me come out and work with him. Okay, well, and, thank uh, you for coming out. All right. I appreciate it. Yeah, my pleasure. All right, thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, and uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. I hope you guys can see in this video how there's a bit of a systematic approach to evaluating a horse and understanding if that horse is going to be safe to ride. Um, it's a subjective thing. It's like, is, are they ready to ride? Aren't they? But there are certain things that we can use as kind of a measuring stick um, to see where that horse is at. So I hope you guys picked up some great tips. If you haven't already, hit subscribe to this channel, and I can't wait to bring you some more videos.